So the only page you do not have is the Page of Swords. Um, and that's probably a good thing because if I saw that, I would have thought stalking. Um, and that doesn't seem to actually be in the regular part of the reading. If, and it's something I can hear. But when you have three court cards and one of them is missing, you need to pay attention to that suit. And that's swords. So that's all about communication um, and truth. Um, three of pages. I mean, three pages talks about look at that other, other one. And so I think a lot of miscommunication is going on, maybe some kind of dispute, especially about what is the truth or what is the belief. Um, there's also a lot of um, infatuation involved in this situation. I do feel like this is going to be about love. All right, so um, when you do have three pages, when you have the Page of Wands, which is your first card, um, with any other two pages, it says a very important message is coming through. Okay, and of course the Page of Swords, which can be a message, is out. Um, so it could be missed messages, miscommunication, the like. Um, but Page of Wands is a uh, Sagittarius card. And this tells me that there's um, some kind of, there's been some kind of a new offer with the Page of Wands here um, that sparked a little creativity, uh, most likely within the last 10 weeks. So this could have been over two months, okay? And you've been focusing on it. In fact, you really cherish it. Um, this can deal with, yeah, creativity and money. And we have the Page of Cups later in reverse, so you're probably focused less on love. And there's a need for you to be more vulnerable in that area too, okay? All right, then we have the Three of Cups. Okay. So I'm wondering if you've been kind of hard to work with. Doesn't have to be. Um, I really feel like this is saying you're not getting the results you wanted um, when it came to this message that came in, maybe you thought you were getting um, another kind of offer or message. And you feel like it may just be um, a waste, perhaps. But there will be an end. There will be an achievement. It may just not be what you expect. Um, there could be a little um, imbalance, for sure with the chariot reversed over here and the two of pentacles, things could be overwhelming for you. And you're not able to balance things as well as you would like, and so you're not getting the exact results that you want. I'm also seeing that if you get an important message from someone, it could be about, well, one of two things, uh, getting out of a union or a union previously that did not work out and you're wanting to reunite. Okay, and I'm gonna skip to the Two of Pentacles because Two of Pentacles is about choices. Um, it's also about juggling. So I feel like this is in your mind. Also, Two of Pentacles talks about messages, most likely, um, um, well, involving text as, as opposed to voice. But I'm also seeing imbalance, but there is a connection and this connection, it, it fluctuates. Um, and I think you're restless about it. And overall, you want to seek harmony in this situation. Um, but it was not harmonious before, most likely with the Three of Cups in reverse, or it has not been if you're in a current relationship. Um, so I'm see seeing you should seek that. You could be worried about money. Um, but no matter what, if it's a connection, a message, whatever it is, seek harmony. Um, if you need help, help is coming. Um, also, your your work life could be interfering with your love life, or somehow they're they're enmeshed. Some of you are deciding whether or not to get married or not, and I don't think you really actually want to, with Three of Cups reversed and Page of Cups reversed. Um, I'm also seeing if you're in a relationship or if there's a relationship you want to be in, 
it needs to be nurtured. So again, <laughs> um, less work, get that balance in, more focus on love um, if you haven't been. Nurture a relationship. You know, again, be to, to be cliche, let's stop and smell the roses, okay? Um, and for those of you, you're a little unsure. I'm seeing confused heart. I'm not sure if you're juggling two people. Um, so let's look on either side. You have chariot reversed and death reversed. So you could be juggling a Cancer and a Scorpio. Um, or you're wanting to revive a dead relationship with a Cancer. Um, sorry, my phone just lit up. People call me all hours of the night. It's, it's a nine o'clock, people, really. Um, I know it's going to be work-related. It just has to be. No, nobody that I know personally would do that to me. <laughs> okay. Um, so, again, like you could be wanting to revive a um, dead relationship with a cancer. Or you think that something's not going anywhere, and yet there's this routine um, like it keeps coming back, it's cyclical. Like maybe like an on and off again relationships may make be going and coming and going and coming, but it's really not going anywhere. Um, or at least that's what you're thinking. Now, with the King of Cups in here, if you are worried about money, um, this tells me that disaster, money disaster avoided. I mean, financial disaster, sorry. So any kind of money problems, you don't have to worry, okay? Um, normally, the chariot and death talk about settling down. Um, but with these in reverse, it says he decides not to choose the other woman. And so I'm thinking with them in, both in reverse and saying you choose the other woman. Or that's the issue you're facing. You choose the other woman. Um, who, so if you're in a relationship, <laughs> yeah, there could definitely be an affair going on, or at least a third party involved. Because I really see Scorpios as loyal. So um, there could be a third party, because we do have a queen and a queen. Um, but there's no high priestess. There's not really much else to indicate it, okay? But that doesn't mean you don't have two people on your mind with the two of pentacles. Um, so yeah, I think he chooses the other woman for some reason. And I say he just because, you know, we have death in here. Um, also, that's strange. Okay. Since this is your current situation, some of you may have been in a car accident within the last 10 weeks. It must have been uh, pretty bad because death reversed is kind of like saying cheated death. So that may have had you worried, especially about money. Okay, wow. But also, I'm just seeing, most likely, somebody's obsessed with cars. Um, or somebody's obsessed with girls and cars. I mean, it sounds very shallow, but eh, and we do have Page of Pentacles, which can be focused, so perhaps. And just to, um, I'm not sure, because it could be like cheated death of a car accident, but please um, be careful. I don't see a super hard time going on with you guys. It doesn't mean it's not. 
Um, but sometimes this could be like getting in a car accident trying to kill yourself. Um, sometimes, okay? And that may have been a few people. I, I don't see a whole lot of people doing that. Um, so that may not be it. But I just want to bring it up that that's not okay, okay? Um, but I do see you definitely have some emotional baggage uh, going on. Possibly with a Scorpio or a Cancer. Oh, that's backwards because of my camera. And I'm also seeing choosing not to settle, choosing not to wait. So if you've been waiting for someone, um, perhaps you're not going to wait anymore. Like, for instance, somebody was talking about going to get married. Perhaps you were wanting to propose to somebody. You wanted to decide if they wanted to get married, or you wanted to, you wanted them to decide if they wanted to get married or not. And they may not have given you a decision. And so you're deciding you're not going to wait. And maybe you go for the other person. They don't even have to be a mistress. Um, whatever the male equivalent is. I hate that we don't have a male equivalent. That bothers me so much. Um, yeah. I just feel like you had so much stuff in your current situation that it, it warrants looking at for all the possibilities. So Scorpios have really been going through things after ever since their birthday month and Jupiter being in their, um, their area, their sign. Yeah, you're most likely not going to settle, not going to wait. So good news there. Or if somebody's ask, waiting for you to decide if you want to get married, you may just go ahead and tell like it is. Now we have the Eight of Cups reversed. Now automatically when I see this, because of the kinds of readings I get a lot, this just a, this screams to me, uh, returning person, a reunion. And then we have reunion in reverse over here. So if there was not a reunion previously, or you know, at the end of a union, well here, this is somebody wanting that reunion. Eight of Cups is also, um, when it's in reverse, is about um, not only returning to a past love, but for some people it's no direction, which kind of goes with the chariot here, and even death. Because death is holding on, being stagnant. Um, so some of you might be holding on to a relationship, like you can't just leave just yet. Um, or there's, there's something tying you to a relationship, whether it's past or present. Um, and if it's a current relationship, you're just not leaving yet. Okay, you're not leaving just yet, sorry. Um, and, but the thing is, it's, there's no goal there, there's no desire there, there's no direction. And then there's other people that this is about a returned love, a reunion, um, and great joy. But it doesn't mean, if this hasn't happened yet, this could be about the past since we do have death if we're here in reverse. Since there is confusion um, with the pages and the page of sword missing, this can talk about a parting from your past that caused confusion. Okay. And Eight of Cups reverse is go to Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about making wise choices, um, especially when you have a lot of options or you're tempted or um, you're really not sure what to do. Okay. And um, it says make wise choices. It's also soul searching. And then the Eight of Cups is going on that soul searching. Okay. Think, think I've reached the end of that. All right, well, your current situation is the Two of Wands reversed. 
I do think you're a little hesitant, okay? If I were just to say this, I would say scared. Um, and I'm thinking, Scorpio, scared, what? <laughs> um, I do, I, I see that here. There's hesitancy. Um, and deep down, it's a not that you're not able to do something or just, you know, not being capable. It's more uh, fear-based. Um, now, I know Scorpios can be paranoid, and this isn't really paranoia. I mean, we don't have the moon or nine of wands, nothing like that. It's this fear of letting somebody in. Um because we do have the Four of Pentacles over here in your advice. It's in reverse. And it's right next to Page Cups. So we'll get into that. Okay. So here this is telling me afraid to take a step. Um, it's also having things on hold because you don't know what, which option is best. And I did tell you earlier, the Eight of Cups reverse. I go back to Seven of Cups, which says you don't know what's best. So you may have some options and you don't know what to do. Okay. Um, I do see that there's a need for you to research. Um, all these pages are very studious. You just should analyze the situation. And you're, you're a freaking Scorpio. That's what you do. You analyze things. Um, so if anybody can do it and get it done, it's you. I'm also, again, with Two of Wands Reverse says, be patient or you're going to spoil everything. Okay. And Queen of Wands earlier said, be, uh, be patient. So, again, overall, be patient. There's so many messages coming through here. Don't spoil it. Also, if we just want to get some advice here with Chariot Reverse, control your emotions. Don't micromanage everything. Just kind of let things unfold naturally. Uh, be patient because uh, you can ruin everything. <laughs> Whatever this is, it must be important because you have three pages. It's an important message. Also, with this in reverse, it's telling you don't be afraid of a scary step. Again, I'm seeing no directions or no options. The thing is, you have lots of options and you don't know what to do. It's like you think you don't have an option. And you do. So why would you think that, Scorpio? That's, I'm going to have to think about that for a second because you have options, but you think you don't have options. Okay, so there must be a relationship that has you stuck. And so you're not able to take other options. Okay. That's pretty much all I can gather right now. And maybe there's some Scorpios out there that don't have options. That's like one in like a million Scorpios. Scorpios always have options. So let's clarify this two of wands and see what the fuck you're scared of. And we'll get judgment on the bottom. Second chances. Um, okay. And um, why you're stuck and why you keep feeling there's no direction. Ooh. You know, I have these in another reading next to each other. So I'm going to shuffle again. I shuffled, but those came out in Libra's reading right next to each other, and I don't feel like this is good enough. I shuffled. I really did. Unless you're dealing with a Libra. Um, but just in case you want to know, it's the devil and the sun. Which... Also, with the chariot here, it talks about saving somebody with judgment. The judgment was on the bottom, and when I saw it, I had to say it. And it's also about taking, I mean, giving second chances. Whether it's in a relationship or giving a relationship a second chance. And it looks like it's to end somebody's grief with death over here. So somebody's stuck, okay. So you, you may know a Scorpio or a Cancer or even just a Cancer, because this is being stuck in the past, who's stuck in the past. Why that has to do with you, I guess, who knows. Um, but they're not able to move on. And so you might be returning um, as far as a second chance for something. Um, 
It could just be for healing and resolution. I can see that. But it might be if you're this if you're Scorpio here, which I think you are, and you're the chariot cancer. I mean, the, there's a chariot cancer, or maybe a cancer in your chart. Both of these are in reverse, so neither one of you is doing too hot about the situation. Um, or just life in general when it comes to love. And it, this basically needs to get balanced out. I'm surprised we don't have justice in here somewhere. Um, but we do have judgment, which is pretty damn close. But the chariot here says saving somebody being a hero, but it's in reverse. We keep talking about no goals, no directions. So there may be this idea of not being the hero, um, not being able to save somebody, or weren't able to save somebody in the past. And I feel if something does end, it, it's a blessing. Not necessarily a relationship, but some kind of a cycle. If it ends, it's a blessing. I really hope this is making sense to you guys. <sighs> yeah. Because there's a few messages coming through. Now, if we, if we get the Six of Cups, I won't be surprised. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's... Finally, we've got this done. Two of Wands reversed. Why is the Two of Wands reversed here? Yeah. Now, with judgment, it says moving forward um, into your destiny, your true destiny. So you're going somewhere, and you just don't think you are. Or maybe you're resisting it. <laughs> oh, is it reverse? Wow, the moon came out in reverse, and they were, they're in that frame. So when it does confront and it's in reverse, it may be something you're not wanting to confront with two of wands here. Um, and the thing is, you may not want to confront the truth because the moon reversed is saying things are coming out. Especially with that sun I saw um, with the devil. It could be shedding, shining light on the toxicity. Um, it's also shining light on secrecy or deception. You could have been self-deceiving. But... It's revealed for the benefit of whomever is involved here. It also does talk about a little bit about paranoia, but I think you're coming out of paranoia in that case. Uh, it could be coming out of delusion. It's also coming out of unhealthy obsessions or unhealthy relationships. But somehow there's a creative journey involved with the chariot here. Um, and because Seven of Cups is alluded to in your current situation, if there's a creative journey, it may have to do with digital art. Um, but also seeing realistic thoughts are clouded. So again, there's a little bit of delusion here, but it's it's coming out. That's your that's your fate. And your issue is to come out of it, or your obstacle is to come out of it. And then judgment that I saw also talks about a creative calling. So there's a lot of creativity in here. And also just the, the need to be oneself. And with the Page of Cups over here in reverse, I'm afraid you're too afraid to open up and give somebody an audition. Um, or somebody won't let you audition. I don't mean that in a real audition way. I mean it... Uh, I'm not really sure what I mean by that. Because, um, you know, Page of Cups can be apologies. Page of Cups, we'll just go ahead and get into it a little bit. When it's upright, it means being vulnerable. As a saying, you're not being vulnerable, but the advice is be vulnerable. You are clammed up, and I think that's something that needs to be confronted. I 
also with the moon reversed, there's something you're not wanting to confront. And it looks like suffering, but it's not, I mean, it could be your own suffering. It could, but it looks like it may not be, especially when we come into like the saving thing and the, that, yeah. Hmm. This may have you stuck in some kind of past relationship because we have moons in both cards. Also, this is also talking about confronting your shadow side. I talk about how Scorpios have one. It's just more prevalent in Scorpios because you're known for revenge. Here it's like you're not wanting to face that shadow self. Um, and that's why Two of Wands is reversed here. So I'm not sure if there was some kind of misdeed on your part where you were not actually the hero in this case. But I'm seeing there needs to be scary step. There needs to be movement forward. It's just not happening right now. I feel like there is some stagnation. Something's just not going anywhere right now. In fact, it may be going in circles or loops. Okay, let's get another card for the other side of the two of wands reversed. I just saw the magician. Um, that tells me that you can make something happen. Like you are fully capable. That's whether or not you choose to. Okay, just one card. Ooh, eight of wands. Success. Ugh, success and growth. Um, this talks about messages coming through. It's also talking about moving, moving, moving. So if you have a choice, it's like not confronting something or confronting something. Um, it's the moon reverse talks about emotional instability. And this is still emotional instability, but it's better. Um, let me think here. And then with the moon reverse, being aware of somebody's suffering, actually overwhelming suffering. It's being very aware of it um, and confronting your shadow self, which was the devil, um, which I did see um, briefly that came out. Also, as advice, this is saying don't argue, okay? So don't do that. Um, so when you communicate with this eight of wands here, it should not be about arguments. It might be about passion, but don't let it be about the, uh, the anger kind of passion. And most likely, it'll be via the internet, because Seven of Cups is alluded to here. All right, I may get some clarification on that later, but that's what I got so far. <laughs> um, I feel like things are about to take a step forward. You're like, do I confront this? Do I not? Or do I just full on into it? So it's pretty black and white with you. Either you do or you don't. Okay. All right, so going into your advice, I kind of explained it earlier, but you're not being vulnerable. You're not, if you're needing to kiss and make up with somebody, you're not ready. Um, and then the Four of Pentacles is saying you need to be um, vulnerable. Uh, you're afraid of rejection with Four of Pentacles here. And Four of Pentacles reverses. Don't be afraid. This fear will solve nothing, okay? Um... And I feel like you feel like you have a, lo a loss of control somehow. But for a Scorpio, that's like pretty much death. So you feel like you can't control this particular situation or you haven't been able to. And again, if you don't know what direction to go or what to pick, that can be why you're indecisive and can't make a decision. And that's where, you know, um, your lack of power it might be stemming from. But I'm seeing don't stay to yourself. Reach out. Because um, there, there is some instability here. And that may be a good thing because sometimes you just need something to shake you up. Um, now with the chariot here, it talks about there's a possibility of scandal if a secret comes out. If a secret comes out, okay. Um, 
and it's something that could like harm your good name is what I see um, so maybe if there is another person involved you're this is saying open up and be honest about whatever it is you need to be honest about um, it may be there's something like especially like a, an old relationship a relationship that's expired and whether that's current or past or both may need to be let go of okay because um, I feel as if again you should strive to do things with integrity whether or not it's defending yourself or just acting in general whatever move you make do it with integrity um, because this there could end up being a scandal that hurts your good name if you don't act appropriately okay all right, so what is your strength? Temperance reversed. It doesn't sound very right, but this does tell me not making things work, um, not, well, it's imbalanced excess. And it's also conflict so that's a good thing that conflict is in reverse here I'm also seeing you're being stubborn that, that's mainly what I'm getting here with your strength I even in some of your readings in the past I even called you a stubborn motherfucker so um, I can definitely see that here. So being stubborn is going to help you here. It's going to help you from being hasty. It's going to help you from thinking short term. And it's going to keep you from going down a path that leads to nothing or um, more stress or exhaustion. Okay, I do want another card for that. What is Scorpio's strength? Okay, we have the Fool. So you're willing to take some risks and have a new start. Um, and you kind of just do what you want. I can see this as being rogue. Um, but also, you're willing to trust this person? Okay. Um, or these people, perhaps. You're also willing to take a creative risk or, yeah, a risk in love because we have Page of Cups over here. So you may not be doing it, but your strength is that you, you will. You're, you kind of take risks um, in your life. But they're not, I mean, they're calculated. So it's, it's as much of a risk as a Scorpio is willing to take. <laughs> Um, if you want to call it a risk, but it's still, um, we'll just call it a risk, okay? It's a risk. Um, this can be about secret love, just because we have the Queen of Wands in here. Um, but it could be about entrepreneurial issues as well. Somehow love and entrepreneurial stuff may be involved here. Hmm. And I'm thinking that with temperance and the fool, this is telling me you're going to be able to see both sides of a situation. And this is about love. Well, one, you're getting your freedom. You may get some self-esteem back. But you have to return to a more childlike way. Um and pretty much trust in God. I'm um, seeing so you have to be honest, vulnerable, and work hard in order for the situation to work. And those are um, key attributes in a Scorpio. Scorpios tend to be very honest, um, except when it comes to revealing themselves. Um, 
And even if they're not going to be honest, they expect honesty out of other people. But I'm saying if you're praying, it's not in vain. You're going to end up happy. In fact, if this is about love, it's going to be a very unordinary kind of love. It's it's going to be non-traditional or um, it, it would draw some stares if it's physical differences or it would draw criticism perhaps. And this is saying you have to overcome your fear, especially a fear of moving on, and you're able to do that. That's, that's really not a big problem for you. All right, somehow these came out in reverse. So we have Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands in reverse. So Four of Wands in reverse isn't much different than the upright version, okay? Um, it just says maybe right now you're not ready for this particular um, relationship. Um, it says you're still wet. <laughs> um, and other times it talks about being much more committed than previous. But if you're trying to decide on marriage or not, uh, Four of Wands is telling me not married. Because um, it's, it's the wedding tent in reverse. Um, some of you focus on the negative a lot. But again, you're going to be able to see both sides of a situation. And then again, I'm saying there is some stagnation. So the fact that you're hesitating is good because it's going to give you some time to analyze things the way that you're supposed to be doing in your current situation. Yeah. Okay. And then with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, this isn't really that good, but Wheel of Fortune reverse says stagnation. And again, it says it's just not the right time. So that's why I'm getting your hesitancy is actually a good thing. You do need to overcome it eventually, but perhaps you're not the right time. This is saying parting is not at a good time. So you may be holding on to a current relationship because it's not the right time to leave. You may be dependent on them monetarily, um, or it's not the right time to open up a new relationship. Maybe because you are with somebody <laughs> or it's not the time to pursue any relationship, whether past um, or maybe present or future, um, just because it's not, it's not, things aren't going in the direction, that things aren't falling into place. And with judgment here, this is saying it's absolutely not the right time. <laughs> Um, but with the fool here, especially near the, um, wheel of fortune, it says any kind of bad luck you might have or any kind of bad timing, that's kind of get like wrong place, wrong time. The fool here says you will be immune to it. Okay. Um, 